Right, it's great to welcome you here to the FNB Code Fest. And what you see behind me here is an environment where our coding ninjas are creating magic. And really what we've done is we've created an environment within which they can come together and they can do what they love doing in the way that they love doing it with the people that they love working with and collaborating with and on a number of very strategic and important solutions for the bank. So as FMB and in the broader first round group, we have very successful innovation programs and the Code Fest initiative, which we started with in March uh, for our inaugural event, was really the catalyst to some of the IT innovations that we are working on um, within FMB and RMB and West Bank um, and elsewhere in the group. So effectively, we've brought together about 250 developers and uh, we sat for about uh, a full day a month ago and we worked with all our business uh, stakeholders. We said, well, guys, look, what, what are the latest technologies and uh, some of the problems that you want us to work with um, but that when we get together in CodeFest that you'd like us to actually deliver and to, to create some value out of? So during this segment, and it's great to welcome you here into the venue live in F&B CodeFest, we're going to give you a flavor of some of that, obviously no specific. Um, but I'll be talking to some of our partners. I'll be talking to some of the teams that are working here today. And uh, please do send us through a few questions, um, which you'll be able to do on the live uh, YouTube streaming channel. So I think um, to start off with, I'm going to invite um, our uh, chief risk officer um, up uh, to join me um, and have a chat about uh, CodeFest. And that's Christoph Newvert. So just as we're getting uh, Christoph to join me up on stage here, a little bit of context. Um, Christoph, as our Chief Risk Officer, has a huge amount of responsibility uh, within the bank, and it's great to have him as part of our event today. We're actually quite fortunate to have a number of uh, the business people here with us coming and kicking the tires on what the guys are working on. So uh, I'm going to hand over to Christoph now, and he's going to just give us a flavor of some of the uh, ideas that he's got around CodeFest and, and how it's driving our innovation and the specific areas that he's particularly interested in and, and you know, how potentially he sees some value uh, being derived out of CodeFest for those uh, strategic themes. So, Christoph, welcome and uh, thanks for, for joining us and thanks for sponsoring us and supporting us as you have been with CodeFest. I think you'll agree with me that there's a great vibe in the room today and I'm hoping you just give our viewers some sense of what's happening today. Peter, thank you. Really, um, I really like being here. It's very, very exciting. And I think this is really the future of the bank. So just a bit about my background. While I'm obviously the chief risk officer, I actually look after big data and advanced analytics in the bank as well. And my background is a computer engineer. So back in the, back in the 90s, actually, I spent my time back then working on topics like um, statistical pattern recognition and uh, parallel architectures. And I think what, where we are today is really technology has come to the point where it has allowed us to completely change the game. So I think you and I discussed earlier you know, that, uh, that banks are dead. And I really believe that. The way that banks have operated uh, traditionally, a branch-based infrastructure where it's very labor-intensive and it's actually hard to get stuff done, that model is dead. Um, and we actually have to reinvent that the way the bank works. So internally, we have got actually very good, very well funded, very large teams of very specialized people and very motivated and excited people that are trying to change the way that the bank works. And it's not about just optimizing our, our internal flow and structures, but actually it's making customers happy. It's, it's about um, seeing how we can help our customers achieve their, their targets. Uh, some of the stuff that um, we are doing this year, as opposed to last year's really, mm. we bought the big data platforms on here today. So we are basically, um, at this stage, we've been running for about 18 months on um, advanced analytical big data platforms. We, we source effectively all the data in the bank into one platform. We originally did that for money laundering reasons. Uh, for money laundering, we need to vet every single customer of the group and we need to risk rate every transaction that the bank operates. So we in any case needed to do this from a regulatory perspective. What we try to do is to build this platform so that it actually allows us to change the way the bank operates. So from using these for regulatory reasons, um, the next level is we, are, we have now set out to basically reinvent credit, rebuild all credit scorecards in the bank, uh, one of the projects uh, the teams are doing here is to um, build a dynamic uh, sales um, engine 
which will again reinvent the current big three system that um, that is how we sell I don't know if you know we do 350,000 sales a month now uh, that are actually automatically pre-calculated and pre-approved uh, we can take this uh, to the next level there's a lot of other technology that various areas um, are using here that use big data platforms that use advanced analytics that, that like I said is really enabled by the level of technology we have by the level of integration that we have across our systems. We have a single view of customer in this bank, which is incredibly powerful. We've got very solid um, core systems, even including Hogan. Um, we've got very well-developed channel architectures for delivering these products. What we are really short of, and we, I think our big, big improvement is, is in the analytics that pulls all this stuff together, that can give the customer, based on what their needs are, the right product at the right point in time, to match their needs. And if we don't do this, the, the four OTT players mm. will take us out. So we're obviously talking today on a Google owned, owned platform. So Rulof Bueta, a good South African guy, sold uh, YouTube to Google. So um, we're, on, we're on YouTube, right? Um, so, um, so I think as South Africans, we can really make a difference in the world stage in this. We want to be the best in the world at using our internal technology and data to deliver cutting-edge solutions to our customers that, that satisfies their needs. Um, I don't know what else to say. Super. Christoph, thank you very much, and good luck to your team, and uh, hopefully we're going to see some wonderful insights coming through from the big data prototypes, and uh, good luck to the team as they work through the night. Uh, they've got a uh, good 24 hours ahead of them, and then the judging and the awards tomorrow. So good luck, best wishes, and thanks for the insights, Christoph. Really appreciate it.